broadcasting from the business capital of the world. This is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are so excited to save her life with Diana and Diana Bahasa joining us here today to talk more about the work she does as a speaker, author, life coach. And again, the name of her business is Save Her Life with Diana. And that's also the website, saverlifewithdiana.com. Welcome to the show today. How are you? Doing great today. How are you? Fantastic, but probably not as good as you because if I read correctly, you live in Honolulu, Hawaii. Yeah. I'm a New York native, um, and when when my life got challenging, I decided, you know, it's time to follow my dreams and move to Hawaii. Ah, beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being here, for doing what you do. We're excited to talk all about this. Uh, Before we get started, again, I mentioned the website, saferlifewithdiana.com. Do you have a phone number or any social media pages you want to share? Yeah, my phone number is 808-796-8622. And my social media pages, my handle on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok is at Saver Life with Diana. So that's S A V O R Life with Diana. Great. So I know you're here helping ambitious leaders avoid burnout without sacrificing success, health, happiness. So whether it's keynote speeches, retreats, coaching, energy healing, you do a lot and we're excited to have you. Before we talk more specifics, I want to find out more about you. Uh, Where did you grow up and uh, give us your backstory of what inspired you? Yeah. Um, So I am, like I mentioned, I'm a New York native. I grew up in New York City. My parents immigrated to New York from the Philippines, and when they came here, you know, they had their own dreams for just a better life for their children. Uh, They started their own businesses, and watching them overcome challenges and face the adversity that they faced, you know, this was back in the 1980s when it was probably far less diverse and had a lot fewer options for people of color, they continued to persevere, and that inspired me when I was older, to want to do the same thing for my daughter, to give her a better life, to to achieve my dreams, and to do it through my own business. Mm. Oh, beautiful. And now you uh, wanted to be a chef. Could you talk about this? Yeah. So uh, I followed the more traditional route after after high school and college. I went into business school, um, you know, got several offers on Wall Street, worked as an investment banker um, with Credit Suisse. I was working on um, billion-dollar deals and debt origination for Fortune 500 execs. And this was all before the global financial crisis. And when that happened, you know, I just seeing how the debt market unfolded, you know, subprime and all those different issues at the time, I realized that I didn't really want to make uh, entitled CEOs richer. <laughs> I really wanted to help more small businesses and to do something I was more passionate about. So that led me, you know, rather than when um, when my career was in jeopardy because everyone was get, getting laid off, rather than go and work at a hedge fund or somewhere else or go back to business school, I decided, you know what, I'm going to follow my passion. I know I'm hardworking. I believe I can succeed at anything I follow. So I went into culinary school. I went to a culinary school worked in San Francisco and in New York, um, and working in San Francisco really shaped my culinary view just in terms of, you know, local seasonal fruits and vegetable forward, um, but at the same time, for me, it's always got to be delicious, so, you know, I love really surprising people with healthy, delicious foods that don't feel like they're sacrificing satisfaction, because so, I don't know about you, Jill, but I've had times where, like, I ate something that was really healthy, and then afterwards, I just wanted, like, a cheeseburger or pizza, and I don't want to feel that way when I eat, and I don't want others to feel that way, so when I cook at my retreats or when I teach people how to cook at my retreats, I like to give them that experience of something that is truly nourishing and good for their body, but doesn't feel like they're sacrificing something. Got it. Well, thank you for sharing this. And it's excited to get to know you. And we want to talk about the retreats. I know that's one of the parts of the conversation today. Uh, did you want to start with that? These are the unique Hawaii retreats that you say blend your skills as a life coach and former chef. So let's hear how these work. When are they coming up? And uh, tell us a little bit more about them. 
Yeah, so the next one I have coming up is in November, but I also do co-host a lot of retreats. Um, and I like to combine my unique skills uh, as a chef and then also as a coach. So I like to create these experiences. Like, ever since I was a little girl, I just loved creating experiences for people that were unforgettable. Um, and I like to create these opportunities where people step out of the day-to-day stress, out of, you know, away from work and everything that's kind of been weighing on them to come to Hawaii to relax, recharge, but at the same time to truly replenish them. You know, sometimes we take a vacation when we're burned out or we're stressed out and then we come back and we're even more stressed, right? We think about all the things that we, we missed or we feel like we're somehow behind and I do believe that it is important when we're feeling really stressed out to take a break. But I think that one of the things that we want to do is, like, we don't just want to take our foot off the gas and then feel like we, we have to hit it harder because we got to catch up, right? Like, when we take our foot off the gas, I kind of think of it like um, like driving a manual car. So when, you, when you're in a certain gear and you've reached, a, you know, you're, you're hitting the gas, you're, you're pushing as hard as you can, but you're not really seeing the like the movement increase as well. You're not seeing your speed increase. That's when you got to take your foot off the gas, disengage from that gear, and step into a higher gear. And that's what I like to help people do as well at my retreat. So I'm not just nourishing them, you know, using my culinary skill. I'm giving them life skills so that they can actually step into that next gear so that when they come back, they're ready to accelerate. They're ready to move forward faster, easier, without actually burning the engine. Because if, if we just stay in that gear, if we just keep pushing, what happens is we're actually going to destroy the engine, which ends up being us in, <laughs> in the metaphor. This is awesome and exciting stuff, and I get to love getting to peruse the uh, website as we're speaking, and I love, uh, gosh, testimonials about this I want to talk about, too, but hold on. You also mentioned this journal you wrote, the Manifest Your Dreams Journal, and this is available on Amazon. Could you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. I, I never anticipated creating the journal at first, but what happened was I was serving my one-on-one clients, my group coaching clients, and I... Many of them happen to be really busy, hardworking women who are highly ambitious, but just didn't seem like they had a lot of time, right? So what I did was using the science back strategies that I learned as a coach and that I applied to my own life to create transformation. I was like, okay, let's create a 15-minute system. Everybody can dedicate 15 minutes thing. Um, and I used a lot of those techniques that I learned and created this system so that within 15 minutes, they could feel a shift. They could see a shift in their in their results. And as they applied it for a lifetime, they, they could achieve their dreams. Uh, so literally within a week, I would consistently see my clients, no matter where, what mind state they were in, start to feel better. Um, and in my own journey, I've used this as well when I've, when I've gone through some of the challenges I've faced as a single mom, you know, unexpected divorce, facing depression, uh, PTSD. So within a week, we can feel better with a 15-minute system. Within a month, we can start to see our results shift. And as we stay consistent with it, because we're working with our brain, so it's a very short amount of time, what we're doing is we're applying the principle of focus. So what I like to teach people when I'm talking about focus is, you know, like if you think about energy, right, like you think about light energy, incandescent light that just fills up a room, if you were to take that same light energy and focus it, you get a laser, and lasers have the ability to cut through steel beams. So what we're doing with this 15 minutes is we're harnessing our energy. We're focusing our energy so that even if we don't feel like we have a lot, even if we feel burned out, feel overwhelmed, even if we're facing something challenging, by just focusing for 15 minutes a day, we're creating a powerful source of energy that has that power to cut through steel beams, to overcome the obstacles that seem insurmountable in front of us. And that's available on Amazon. It's only $33. It's, it's something that my clients all start with. And honestly, the reason I first created it was because I wanted to deliver higher and higher value to my clients. So I figured, hey, what if I codify this? What if I create something that they can physically journal in instead of just telling them to do it in whatever notebook? Um, and the Manifest Your Dreams journal was born from that, uh, from basically codifying my manifestation magnet system. 
Got it. Well, thank you so much for sharing this. And we do have a lot more to talk about, uh, but we need to take a quick commercial break. Would you mind sharing how we can reach out to you? Absolutely. The best way is on Instagram at Savor Life with Diana or on my website, S-A-B-O-R Life with Diana.com. Perfect. And also on social media, how do we find you? At Savor Life with Diana. All right. Sounds good. Thanks so much again for being here. And let's do this. We'll take a quick break. And when we return, we'll talk more about the work you're doing and, of course, how you're helping uh, so many. So thank you again for staying tuned. And we ask everyone else to do the same. We'll be right back. Thanks so much. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Hi, I'm Linda Griffin, owner and principal designer of Creative Interior Designs, a full-service interior design firm. We offer a variety of design packages to fit your budget and interior design needs from remodeling or just decorating a room. We have qualified, skilled, licensed, and insured subcontractors ready to start your new design. We'd love to work with you on your next home or business remodel. So contact our office for your first design discovery call at 301-298-9090. Or you can visit our website at cidbylinda.com. Celebrating Bubby's 70th birthday. Seven months after her birthday. Saying I don't to more postponements. And I do to each other. The life-changing vacation? Just a little later in life. And the taste of some home cooking that's been simmering for months. Sorry, I think this one's mine. Oh, my bad. For all the things that you've been looking forward to getting back to, we've got a plane for that. Visit JetBlue.com for everyday low fares. If you have unfiled taxes or are in debt to the IRS, this is important news. The IRS just rolled out a new program to help struggling taxpayers more easily resolve their tax problems. It's called the Taxpayer Relief Initiative, and it opens up powerful new options for people looking to get back on the right track with the IRS. And no one knows this program like the professionals at Optima Tax Relief, America's most trusted tax resolution company. They've resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients and have the expertise and experience to help you. One easy call to Optima can start the process, helping to put an end to your worries of wage garnishment, asset seizure, and other aggressive IRS actions. Make today the beginning of your fresh start with the IRS. Call the experts at Optima Tax Relief now for your free confidential consultation. Call 800-386-9945. 800-386-9945. 800-386-9945. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Me, 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 but also you. (laughs) The Pharaoh fast-forwards his favorite foreign film, Powder Donut. Okay, what's my line? Uh, The only line I see here on the script is get options based on your budget with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. Oh, man, that's a tongue twister, huh? I'm sorry, I'm going to need a few more minutes. Bulbous Walrus. The Bulbous Walrus. The Name Your Price tool. Only from Progressive. The owl and afoul of the comatose Coxswain. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. If you have unfiled taxes or are in debt to the IRS, this is important news. The IRS just rolled out a new program to help struggling taxpayers more easily resolve their tax problems. It's called the Taxpayer Relief Initiative, and it opens up powerful new options for people looking to get back on the right track with the IRS. And no one knows this program like the professional at Optima Tax Relief, America's most trusted tax resolution company. They've resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients and have the expertise and experience to help you. One easy call to Optima can start the process, helping to put an end to your worries of wage garnishment, asset seizure, and other aggressive IRS actions. Make today the beginning of your fresh start with the IRS. Call the experts at Optima Tax Relief now for your free confidential consultation. Call 800-386-9945. 800-386-9945. 800-386-9945. 
Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are excited to have our coach here, our author, and of course, Savor a Life with Diana. That's what it's all about. And she joins us here live from um, from uh, Honolulu, Hawaii, talking about this amazing work she does and to help you avoid burnout without stepping back. Uh, by the way, I got to read some testimonials here um, on the site while I was on the break. Can I just share some of them? Do you mind? Are you with us? Oh, yeah. Diana, can you, you not go. hear me? Sure. There we go. Thank you. Well, here's one. Uh, Brandon B. says, meeting Diana was a blessing. Everything changed. Now I have about 20 women trying to date me for real, and they are all are matches. Whatever the block was is history. Um, you know, Gwen says, working with Diana has brought out so much in me that I didn't even know about myself. I feel so good now. Believe in myself and uh, what I can do. I feel like I had a 15-pound bag of rice lifted off of me. Um, $2,000 away from hitting next month's 10K goal, Bianca says, and it's not even next month. I would highly recommend Diana to anyone who needs help in manifesting their dreams or who has anxiety. Um, here's someone else saying, my goodness, I was just looking at my books. My business grew at least five times since 2020, if not more. Uh, this is Carmelita. So you're really helping so many people in so many different aspects of their life. And it's always great uh, to, to talk about this. Do you want to share a client story or two of someone that you've helped? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one thing I want to say is uh, not everybody gets results. Because I think, yes, I have, a, I have amazing testimonials. I've helped over 100 people uh, to achieve their dreams, whatever those end up being. And I'm really utilizing both my business skills as a former investment banker, you know, having gone to business school. I'm using my own life skills, knowing about passion and that ability to harness the art and science of transformation, as well as my life coaching skills. Um, I'm also a 9-11 survivor, so I, I know a lot about trauma and I, I harness all of that life experience, the professional experience I've gained as an, an energy psychology healer, as an advanced life coach, et cetera, to help my clients. So wherever they are, I'm really looking at, like, how is it that we can transform what it is that you have to create what it is that you want? Um, and like I said, not everybody gets results with me because as even though my system is proven, even though I know it works 100% of the time, 100% of the way with 100% of the people, it only works if they apply it. And I just want to make that very clear because I don't want to, I don't want to sell somebody on the idea that I can absolutely change your life if they're not willing to put it in the work. And it doesn't have to be a lot of hard work. What I really do is I help people work smarter. So I had a client who was severely burned out. She, you know, she was looking at her business and just really kind of feeling like she didn't like it anymore. Like, she was turning this Heather. She was, you know, like, she had built this business over years. She didn't want to give up, right? A lot of times, you know, in future episodes, I want to talk a little bit about that, you know, giving up. Um, she didn't want to give up. She knew that she'd built this business, but she just wasn't, her heart wasn't in it anymore. Something was missing for her. She, you know, she had this level of success that on paper looked great to everybody else, but for her, something was missing you know she she didn't have that satisfaction she was still seeking more and as I talked to her and I looked at what she was what it was that she was doing I realized that she was no longer really aligned with her passion she was doing something that she you know that she was great at but she wasn't doing something that she was passionate about and that really reminded me of when I was working advising fortune 500 CEOs CFOs and I didn't really like doing it for for those big companies, right? My my heart was really in pursuing it for small business. So, um, you know, I, I talked to her about it, right, and helped her to really shift her business so that she wasn't doing the stuff that she didn't want to do. She was doing more of the things that truly mattered to her, that she was making an impact, realigning her business with her passion. And it wasn't it wasn't like this huge jump. It was more like helping her see the area that she she was passionate about, encouraging her to recognize the energy that came out of her when she was talking about what she was passionate about and, and, and helping her to create a life that was more in alignment with that. And, um, and for her, that involved more dancing, that involved more writing, that involved more of these creative pursuits that 
you know, that she loved doing, but, you know, didn't really think was a good use of her time. So as she was doing that, she completely experienced a transformation. Um, she had people telling her, you know, like, wow, I, I haven't seen you this happy in years. She was losing weight without, without trying. She was, she was smiling more. She started looking younger. Um, her business started to boom, so she actually 3 x her business. Uh, multiplying someone's business is like a pretty common experience for me um, because what I'm doing is no matter how how much of a loss of energy or how, how blah they're feeling right now, I'm really tapping into where are your natural sources of energy? Where are the things that like, you know, um, when you're not, when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling like you just can't do anymore, what are the things that recharge you? And when we know how to harness that energy, we actually can go farther, faster, easier, and it, it doesn't feel like additional work. It actually feels like a pleasure. There's something inside us that's driving us. So I look for those ways that we can tap into somebody's inner drive, into their passion, so that they can be working smarter instead of just working harder and pushing well, thank- Thank you for sharing that. And you say, more money, more clients, more impact, more freedom, more fun. There's a 30-second video that you can really uh, watch as well to get a glimpse into her clients' results, which is so cool. Uh, if you go right there to the website, again, SaveYourLifeWithDiana.com under the testimonial section. So, again, she offers her free initial consultation. And, you know, everyone out there, you know, there has to be something we all want and need. And I feel like since the pandemic, I don't know how you were affected, but would you mind sharing that? You know, I feel like everyone wants that that second chance in life. We realize how precious life really is. Yeah, you know, I'm going to touch on this in later episodes, as I mentioned. But um, post COVID, there was a point where I was suicidal, and I wanted to give my life up, uh, the life of my baby. I was pregnant at the time. It just seemed like everything was ending around me. Um, and today, I feel like I'm thriving again. I, you know, my business is is booming again. I'm I'm experiencing that growth, that energy. My daughter is thriving as well. Um, and the thing about being in that place where where something unexpected happens is it can throw us off our game. We can lose momentum. We start to feel like maybe we weren't meant to do this. We start to doubt ourselves. We start to doubt our abilities. Um, and so if, if any of us are feeling that way, you know, you're not alone in that. But I've been there. I know that that does not have to be the end of the story. A lot of people, they give up there. And like I said, we're going to talk a lot more about giving up because I think it's, um, there's a lot of toxic to personal development that tells us to never give up. And I don't actually believe that. So we're going to bust that myth together. Uh, but until we get there, you know, I want to say, there is a time for giving up and there is a time where we don't. And we'll, we'll, we'll unpack when that, when that is and when that isn't. But I made the choice to not give up on my life. I made the choice to really believe in myself. I made the choice to hunker down on these principles that I know work, that, um, that I've created that I know are going to create consistent results. Um, I reached out for help. I was getting coaching through the grief that I was going through, um, when my marriage unexpectedly ended. You know, there were, there were all these ways that I reached out for help. And I think that when we were, when we're highly ambitious, successful women, sometimes it's hard for us to ask for help. We're the people who are always helping other people. We're, you know, we're used to looking like the strong ones. Everyone, you know, marveling at what it is that we're able to accomplish and and thinking that it's easy for us. And, you know, that, that is a great image to uphold, but at the same time, you know, I realized that it was creating distance for myself and my family. So it was in those moments where I really was honest about the fact that I didn't have it all together, that I was terrified about becoming a single mom, that I had no idea how I was going to do what what I needed to do, that a rush of support and resources came my way. Um, people supported me in ways that I never expected. I was able to heal um, some of the relationships in my family in ways that I never expected. Um, my life became richer. Like, I, I developed friendships. Um, my health improved. Literally every area of my life improved. When I was willing to do that scary, uncomfortable thing and ask for help, and I think a lot of times, especially post-COVID, many of us 
are feeling really alone. We feel like there's nobody who understands us, who can help us. And I, I want to say that that's, that's not the case. Um, well, one of the most powerful things I did when, uh, you know, when I was texting with a suicide hotline about wanting to end my life while pregnant, one of the most powerful things I did was reach out for that help, was not to let my ego get in the way, not to think, oh, everybody else is too busy, no one, no one wants to help, but to ask for help to tell the truth about where I was, reaching that low point in my life and being willing to ask for a hand up completely transformed everything. So to the degree that all of us felt alone and isolated in COVID, I think that it really showed me the importance of community, the importance of asking for help, and the importance of really being vulnerable, expressing what we see as our weakness, only to discover that it's actually our greatest strength. Wow. Diana, can you hear me? Uh, I know. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I just was asking you to give us your contact information. If someone's listening today, wants that free consultation with you, unfortunately, we are out of time. So please uh, remind us of all the ways we can reach you. Thank you. Absolutely. Definitely check out, check out my social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. It's at SaverLifeWithDiana.com. That's S-A-V-O-R, LifeWithDiana.com. Oh, at S-A-V-O-R Life with Diana on social media. And the website is SaverLifeWithDiana.com. Beautiful. Thanks so much for being here, for joining us. And looking forward to the next time we connect. Really, an honor to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Bye, Diana. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Hey, Dad, how do airplanes fly? What's in this box? Can I touch this? Where does sand come from? Is this tree good for climbing? What happens if I mix these two things together? How are babies made? What does this thing do? Kids are curious about everything, including guns. Talking to them about gun safety in your home is a good first step, but you can do more. Always keep your guns locked, unloaded, and stored separately from ammunition. Storing your guns securely is the best way to prevent family fire, including unintentional shootings. For more information on safe gun storage and ways to keep your family safe, visit endfamilyfire.org. That's endfamilyfire.org. What do we keep in the attic? What's this thing called? Can I ride my bike backwards? Like I said, kids are curious. It's up to us to keep them safe. Brought to you by N Family Fire, Brady, and the Ad Council.